There's one reason why we all play this game, and it's to have the best auras on the server. But what is the best aura? Is it the ones that nobody has? Maybe it's the one that nobody uses. In this list, I'll rank the best auras in Souls RNG. The way I'll be ranking the auras is based on factors such as how it looks and how unique it is. But anyways, let's get to the list. Starting off with the unique weather exclusive aura. I think everyone can agree that the first time that we saw Star Scourge, we were stunned by how cool this aura looks. Being based on one of the coolest characters in gaming history, they had to cook. And cooking, they did. From the red star effects to the cool pose it puts your avatar in, to even the cool music it plays, this aura definitely deserves its spot on this list and you can't deny that at all. Being probably one of the most unique auras in the game, Sailor is something that you don't forget after you see it for the first time. With it being 1 in 3 million and up to 30 million breakthrough, you won't be seeing this a lot. You're on a giant boat that makes you tower above every other player in the server. The rain effects look insane and the fact that you drag the boat across to the ground as you move is hilarious. The only critique I have for this aura is the fact that it doesn't have any music. But good news, they said that in Era 6 they're going to add music, so Sailor fans rejoice. Alright, for this one I have a draw and you guys are going to have to decide who wins the number 8 spot on this list. In the process of making this, I asked a lot of players which aura between Arcane Legacy and Arcane Dark was better, and the results were nearly 50-50. To start with Arcane Legacy, this aura is a complete upgrade to the original Arcane with the sigil that it follows the player in Arcane Legacy. Arcane Legacy is basically everything that original Arcane was, and better. But on the other hand, we have Arcane Dark, basically the complete opposite of Arcane. And somehow, because of the purple dark effects, it just looks so much cooler than the original version. Although some don't agree and say that Arcane Dark needs a rework, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Where do I even start with Chromatic? This is probably the benchmark aura of the game, and if you have 2 million plus rolls and you don't have Chromatic, you might just be cooked. When that red star was first seen, you probably thought it was another rage heated, but nope, you just got one of the best auras in the game. Through the Gojo pose it hits and the rainbow waveform effects, this aura is something that everybody wants in their inventory. When somebody walks past you blasting the chromatic music, you may be annoyed, but you can't deny how cool this aura is. One of the more unique orbs we've seen so far, Hypervolt is definitely deserving of this place on this list. Hypervolt is what you get when you mix Arcane Legacy and Arcane Dark and times it by 10. The 6 electricity orbs surrounding the player are just one of the coolest things that we've seen so far up to Air 5. There's definitely auras rarer than it and we could all agree that Hypervolt is better than them. If Hypervolt was 1 in 40 million, none of us would bat an eye because it definitely looks the part. Especially with the orbs being so unique, we've only seen one other orb with these effects. The most talked about aura in the game. There's nothing in Chromatic Exotic that doesn't scream aura. If Hyperwolf was a combination of Arcane Legacy and Dark Times 10, Chromatic Exotic is a combination of Hypervolt and Chromatics times 100. If you were to do a survey and ask people which aura they want the most, I think most people would say Chromatic Exotic. But as we know, it won't be in the game much longer. But its replacement is just as cool and I think even better. If Chromatic Exotic was the crazy little brother, Chromatic Genesis is the cool older brother and as we know it, this isn't even the final version. Probably the hardest decision I made on this list was deciding on Chromatic Exotic and Exotic Apex. They both did good in all categories, but Exotic Apex came through with the win because it has one of the best soundtracks in the game. From the wings to the giant spiral of light blasting onto the player, with the avatar hitting the one of the coolest poses in the game, Exotic Apex is the perfect aura for its rarity. For anyone who has Aquatic Flame, this is how you do a reskin. 
The regular exotic is cool, but exotic apex is just on a whole nother level. When I get into a server and see somebody with exotic apex, I have to go near them just to hear the music. But can you blame me? If you were to combine Arcane Dark, Chromatic Exotic, Hypervolt, and Exotic Apex and times it by 10,000, you'd get 50% of Impeached. This aura is just crazy all the way around. If our favorite auras just had 1% of the work that Impeached had, it would easily make this top 10 list. The developers just went all out with this one. This is the second rarest aura in the game, and you could tell that they wanted to show it. The ability that this aura has is crazy. Spawning a massive dark sword out of the sky to strike onto the ground has to be one of the craziest things we've ever seen. And it just works perfectly with the theme of Impeach. On top of that, have you heard the music that Impeach plays? In my opinion, it's the best soundtrack in the game, and hopefully, just hopefully, one day you and me will have this aura. the breakthrough of 1 in 1 billion, you won't be seeing Abyssal Hunter a lot. Abyssal has to be the one with the most work put into the game. The water theme was perfected with this aura, with having a special walk-in animation and three special abilities including Shifter, which increase your walk speed and changes your animation, Destroyer, an ability that allows you to levitate on top of the anchor, and Juggernaut, which gives you a force field. Abyssal Hunter is insane, and I don't know how they're going to make better auras than this, as this went absolutely crazy. But with the Abyssal Hunter being second, only the best remains, and there's only one that could be called the best in the game. Where do you even start when talking about Archangel? Is it the fact that if you put every aura inside the game beside each other and tell somebody to pick the best, 99% of the time it's going to be Archangel? Is it the light and six wings that the player has when it's equipped? Is it the insane soundtrack that it plays that makes you feel like a final boss of a game? Archangel is a recent addition and easily solidified itself as the best in the game. Anything coming from Era 6 will have to be completely mind busting to get to the level of Archangel or even top it, but as it stands, Archangel is the best aura in Souls RNG. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the list.